welcome back. The answer is yes, I have completely given up on my hair. Every time I put a product in it, it breaks my skin out. And so this is just what I've resorted to. Guys, today we are going to be doing a try on haul from a company called Four Days. They are a zero waste clothing company. We'll get into what that means in a second, but I have kind of signaled to the algorithm lately on Instagram that I'm interested in lowering my waist footprint, things of that nature. We've been talking about this on my channel quite a bit. And I did just do a capsule wardrobe. If you're unfamiliar, I didn't realize a lot of people are unfamiliar what a capsule wardrobe is. It's like a minimalist wardrobe of like a certain amount of items. And that's what you limit yourself to for a season so that you don't just kind of keep idly shopping and it helps keep your wardrobe small and your brain decluttered. And then you get to kind of focus your energy like one little period of time each season. So in that mindset, I'm kind of shopping for my spring season right now. And if you did watch that video, you know that I am way into basics and way especially into white shirts and I'm not stopping anytime soon. So they offer a trial kit where they send you five items of your choice. I got all size small so that you guys could see what that size looks like on me across the board. I did talk to their customer service team in order to make that decision. They are amazingly helpful. They will chat with you on every single item, tell you how tall the model is, what her measurements are. You give them your measurements. They'll tell you how each item fits, all the measurements like width and length and everything of each garment so that you can make the right decisions and so that once the items get to you they're most likely to fit. So this is not sponsored. I just want you guys to have all the relevant information here before we get started. The trial kit is $38. That is just a deposit essentially on those five items. If you keep all of them, then you get a 15% discount on the entire amount, but you don't have to keep everything. And they give you, they send you actually like this zero waste nylon bag instead of a cardboard box or any kind of plastic packaging, which I think is really interesting. So I went for five items. I went for two t-shirts, two tank tops, and a dress. And I'm wearing the dress right now. I opted not to wear makeup in the shots just because I didn't want to get any makeup on any of the items. But spoiler, I think I'm gonna end up keeping all of them because they're really, really beautiful. So I will put a timestamp down below for anybody who already understands how the company works and they just want to see the clothes tried on. But for everybody else, let's go ahead and jump into everything about the company for days. Okay, so they break it down into three steps. Pick your tees, wear recklessly, and then swap and return. So they say, pick organic cotton tees and sweats, or dresses in my case, and start with a five item risk-free trial kit. By the way, if you decide not to keep any of them, you get your $38 back. I forgot to mention that part. Number two, wear recklessly, swap any item at any time for any reason forever, Really, so what's not clear to me is whether you can swap one item for another item. I'm not really sure, like, do I keep this dress forever and I just keep using this dress? Because they might run out of things. So I kind of think that it is, you can trade any item in for a discounted item of your choice. That is my understanding, but I'm not totally sure. There is a new price on everything and then there is a swap price for everything. However, all the clothing that you get is new. It's not like you're getting someone's worn item, if that makes sense. I know that that's kind of like not always super obvious. So uh, how to swap, you order your items first. During the checkout, you tell us which old items you want to send back. So that's why you have like a membership, but it's not a subscription. They don't like charge you every month or something like that, but they just want to keep a record of what you have so that they know what to expect you to send back when you buy something at like the super discounted rate. Number two on swapping, during checkout, tell us which old items you want to send back. This activates your discount if you choose not to swap no problem. Uh, number three, receive your new items and return your old ones in the same bag. So I'm not really sure what happens if you decide to return something, but then you don't want to swap it out for anything. Maybe like it keeps a credit in your account. I think that that would make sense. I think that the understanding is that you're gonna keep a circulation of five items in your closet from this company at any given time and that you only pay full price for them once. So you build a trial kit just by putting five items in your cart and it's going to just drop that price down to $38. And then I also used uh, an introductory discount code. I think I got like five bucks off of even that. Now, what I was really curious about was how they recycle them. Are they actually having like this tiny loop of like, you know, <laughs> I'm imagining them just like pureeing your shirt and turning it right into a new shirt. I don't think that that's exactly how it works. It says 
All worn items go into our recycling queue. We work with post-consumer recycling partners to make sure all return materials go into new fabrics down the road and then into new products. We currently don't reuse any returned product that has been worn. We are working on a reuse program and we'll keep you posted. So the overarching idea here, you know, it might not be 100% perfect, but the idea is that they're promising that nothing that you ever get done wearing is going to go into a landfill. You can send them any of your garments, whether they made them or not, and they will recycle them responsibly as well. I mean, there are tons of programs that do that too, but I also think that it's really cool that they keep this like closed ecosystem on the actual products that they're selling because you do, you want new stuff. You want to feel like things are new and crisp sometimes, you know, wearing things in is great, but especially with a white t-shirt, like you like to get something new every once in a while. And to know that you're basically not throwing out your old one, you're giving it back to them and you're just basically paying that forward to your next t-shirt. I think that that, I don't know, it gives me peace of mind, I guess. So. I, like I said, bought five items, two t-shirts, two tank tops, and a dress. So we will now move into the try-on. So the first item that I got is the Daily Crew. It is $28 and $12 to swap. I, of course, got it in white, and all of these items are in a small. The material on this is not done justice by watching it on video. It is higher quality and heavier weight than the kind of like oversized t-shirt that I would compare it to from Everlane, but it does fit really similarly. And all these items are a little bit oversized. That's kind of by design, even though the fabrics themselves are pre-shrunk, they also say that they probably will shrink a little tiny bit the first time that you wash them. Anytime you wash something and you dry it on any kind of heat, it's going to shrink, especially 100% cotton. Brand new and also anticipating a slight amount of shrinkage. I think that this is an awesome shirt. I love how big and roomy it is, but it also fits my shoulders in a really nice flattering way. I think it's very kind of feminine while also being modest. And it's also a very modern cut and I really love the fabric. Like the fabric is just so high quality. It feels really high end, it feels expensive. The next one that I got is the Vintage Crew. It is also $28 and $12 to swap. This is more of a micro rib material. Like if you're familiar with the old American apparel items, it doesn't have very much stretch to it. And it's a much more fitted cut with, you know, slightly more like cap sleeves. It's kind of like I would compare to like the perfect t-shirt from The Gap. You know, um, it is slightly shorter than the, uh, the Daily Crew, but <laughs> the Daily Crew is very long. So it is still very, very tuckable. And I don't anticipate it shrinking too, too much. Although I do dry everything. If you watch my capsule wardrobe, I dry everything on delicate. And I think that it fits beautifully. I really like the structure of the material and it's very, very different from the first t-shirt. So the next one is the Racer Tank. It is $24, $8 to swap. And I also got it in white and I got it in a small and I'm really glad about that. One, because this is probably going to shrink a little bit and it is a little bit oversized on me. But the other thing that excites me so much about this is it's so soft. It's so soft and it's not super stretchy. It doesn't have that, I don't know, that American apparel rib tank top thing where it used to like climb your body <laughs> over the course of the day and make you just feel really unwelcome in that shirt. Like this is so accommodating and it's so comfortable and it's so soft. And I can definitely tell that even when it shrinks in the wash a little bit, it's still going to have like a really, really nice feeling to it and a nice shape to it and a really good fit. And I love how it looks tucked in. I just think that summertime, I always feel stupid when it's one temperature outside and I'm buying something for a totally other temperature, but I am anticipating obviously the imminent doom of how hot it gets here in Austin in just a matter of months. And I think that having some really good white tank tops in my repertoire is going to very much behoove me. So I'm really excited about this one. The other tank that I got is the Easy Tank. It is also $24 and $8 to swap. Oh, MG, this one's my favorite. This one really, I didn't expect to like invoke this so much in this video, but it reminds me so much of old American apparel, like the really good 100% cotton, the original stuff before it started getting like, I don't know, all the different materials that they were making and everything. This thing has the most awesome fit to it. It's really loose. And it's one of those shirts that I would wear like, a bralette under in the summertime and not really worry that my bra was showing. You can see that my bra is showing in this and this is just a regular nude bra. Probably not what I would choose to go with this tank top. I wouldn't necessarily say that this tank top is like 
work appropriate for most people, but nothing has to be work appropriate in my life. So I love that A, it fits in this really modern feminine way. I love how broad the shoulders are in it. So when I do cinch it at my waist, it just looks super duper feminine, but also like really smart. But I also love that it makes contact with my body in like zero places. It hangs on my shoulders and I feel nothing else on my body, which is what you want in the hellscape that is Austin, Texas in the summertime. So watching me obsess about like white shirts might be really boring to you guys, but I really am a fan of nailing the detail. <laughs> All right, and then this was my splurge. This is the mock neck dress. It's $54, $28 to swap, and it's what I have on my body right now. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. It does remind me a lot though in the cut of the one that I just got at Baldwin, so I don't know why I should be so surprised that I love it. And I also just love that it's this like effortless like French girl stripe thing. I do find it to be, and it's just, it's actually the exact same length as the Baldwin one, but I do find it to be a little unnervingly short. We talked about this in the live chat in my last video. No, in my capsule wardrobe video, somebody asked me, they're like, are you long-legged or long-waisted? I am long-waisted. I have very short legs for my height. And so dresses tend to be a little short on me, but I think that this, it's just, it's just right without being too short. And then also if you wash it on cold and you don't dry it, you can actually block something the way that you would like a new knitted piece or something. Sarah, I know you know what I'm talking about. Then you can kind of make sure that it's stretched out to the right places. You can make it a little bit longer as it dries. That's not unheard of at all. Cotton's very obedient in that sense. So I absolutely adore this. It is so comfortable. I also love that it's like equal parts like tomboy and girly. And I, you guys know, as soon as it gets to be summertime, as soon as it gets to be any kind of sunshine at all, the bandanas come out. I love my bandanas. For all those curious, I get them at Madewell. They have the best kind of lightweight texture to them. I've had these for years, but they make them every single year. And I can definitely vouch for the awesome kind of vintage worn-in quality of Madewell bandanas. And you can catch them on sale. They'll be like $7. So that's what I did. Future khaki here. So I lost the last part of this video. I lost the footage. I don't know why I've spent all day trying to recover it, but basically the only thing that I lost was my final thoughts on four days and on this haul. So that is what I'm going to provide to you guys today, especially because I have had a little bit more time to kind of like digest my feelings on it. And I also retried on a few of the piece, well, all of the pieces with other like outfits in my wardrobe to see if everything kind of meshed together. And I ended up actually sending back two items. I sent back the racer tank and I sent back the vintage tee. They just both had like silhouettes that didn't really sync up as well with my wardrobe as I expected them to. Whereas I'm literally wearing the, what is it? The daily tee, is that what it's called? The other one right now, and I've been wearing it for two days, only God can judge me. The easy tank and the striped dress are like already going to be just like anchor points in my like spring capsule wardrobe. So I think that this is such a cool concept. Granted, there are other companies out there, like I said, who will take your clothes that you don't want anymore and recycle them responsibly. That's fantastic. <laughs> Use whatever service is at your disposal. We just need to be doing more. We just need to be doing better. And I just like the peace of mind of knowing that these particular items are in a closed loop and also that this is a resource that is available. And now that I've tried this stuff in person, I can absolutely vouch for the fact that it is very, very high quality. These are not like cheap feeling basics at all whatsoever. And I wanted to mention, and I didn't mention it earlier in the video, I have this like total hatred of tags and their tags are sewn in on all corners and I love it. It's so thoughtful to do that because I, every tag I ever have in anything, I rip it out because they drive me crazy. I'm just really glad that these were like streamlined and comfortable. <laughs> so that is where I leave you guys on the four days review. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other requests for videos like this or companies that you've seen out there that you would like me to review, let me know. I am kind of splitting my time, I feel like, on my channel right now between the makeup content that I always love making and also just trying to educate myself and like share my journey of like reducing my footprint at the same time. If those two things don't necessarily go together, I'm sorry. There might be one audience for one and one audience for the other, but it all is still 
me at the end of the day. So I hope that that resonates with you guys. And if this is my first video of yours that you are watching and you enjoyed it, then think about subscribing while you're here. Hit the notification bell while you're at it. Guys, get those notifications because my upload schedule is kind of all over the place right now. And uh, thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today and for bearing with me through technical difficulties. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.